Hi there, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and today in front of us we have the Tori Mariucci Dual Boiler Espresso Machine. And we're just going to give you a little sneak on the top inside of this machine. First thing you want to make sure is turn it off, Oop. unplug it, take the top cover off, and then We'll show you how to take off the four screws and get inside. So four Allen key screws here. They're actually three millimeter. Uh, we're gonna take these out very, very quickly. I did loosen them. They were a little tighter. And basically we'll just get these out real quick. Make sure the uh, screws don't fall into the holes. Again, make sure the unit's unplugged. Make sure it's cold. This machine is actually hot, but make sure it's cold. If you have the water line plumbed in, make sure to uh, shut the valve off for the water. And when I put the screws back in, I like to actually leave the tank in place because if the screw falls on the side here, it's easy to get up instead of going deep down. Take the water tank off. And if you notice, there's a ridge that goes over the inner panel as the same thing happens on this side. There's a ridge and then just lift this up. And now you have access to the top. I will, uh, let's see if I can lift this up a little bit on an angle so you could probably see it a little better. Okay, in here you have your rotary vein pump dial or screw counterclockwise to lower the pressure, clockwise to increase the pressure. Here is your pressure stat. Here is your steam boiler. This pressure stat is what controls the pressure in the steam boiler. So clockwise, there's a plus sign to increase, and lower is counterclockwise. So if you need to increase it or lower it, you will do it from here. As you could see, there's copper tubing, brass fittings. Here's your coffee boiler with a PID sensor. Here's your safety thermostat. There's a safety thermostat on the side on the coffee boiler. In case you get in a no heat situation, check that. But that usually trips when it gets too hot. Okay, and then you have, there's an opening right down here. I'm not sure what that is, but this is a safety valve. And here's your bleeder valve. So the purpose of the bleeder valve right here is when you power down the machine so it doesn't build a vacuum, it releases the vacuum pressure out because machines that don't have this basically will not heat the steam boiler. This is usually the first place that lime scale will build up and cause an issue. And if you have a lot of leakage coming out while it's fully warmed up and it's supposed to steal, seal, then it's usually a problem right here. Here you have a nice high quality safety valve. Some companies use a very cheap one that's very susceptible to lime scale. So you have that here. Here's your water level sensor. Okay, so this is the reason why I say don't use distilled, purified, or reverse osmosis water because anywhere between a half a volt and 1.5 volts of electricity has to come through this wire, okay, through the rod. The rod is insulated so it doesn't touch the metal and it goes down about a third of the or halfway of the boiler. And then what happens that runs through the water and once it touches the boiler wall it knows that the water has reached that sensor that's inside here that probe that water refill probe and this is why i say don't use those types of water because if, if it can't send electricity through that water what ends up happening is the boiler fills 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 it will come out of the safety valve or come out of the opv especially if it's plumbed in and you will have a flood all over your kitchen or your premises on this particular machine. Down here, you probably can't see, but there's two SSRs and a brain unit about halfway down and a quality G-Car touchpad that's in the front. As many people know that I really, really like G-Car. They had some issues during COVID, but they seem to have been straightened out. So as you can see here, also a stainless steel reservoir holder on this, there are companies who use now galvanized steel. 
I'm not too crazy about it. I prefer the stainless steel, which I believe is a better fit. And that is pretty much it on the inside. Again, it is to simplify things to really, really become very, very price competitive. So hopefully you've seen the inside of this wonderful espresso machine. Please click on the link below to visit it on our website to get more details. And also if you have any questions, please ask down below or on our website in the Q&A section. Please subscribe to our social media channels and also share the wealth of information with your friends. Once again, Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Thank you for watching. As I always say, coffee first, everything else second. Take care.